Hey, Ryan. Hey, Patrick. It's weird that this game exists. Uh, yeah, totally. The Twisted Sister game that uh, no one has been demanding. <laughs> Finally. You, you, we didn't think they were going to make their Kickstarter goal, but somehow <laughs> there were enough fans of D Twisted Snyder Sister. D. Snyder just, you know, he's got the talk radio thing. It's uh, No, so Giada Sisters... I guess you need the context for the for, this for to the, mean anything. For the weird, the, 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 for us to immediately start this saying this is weird, yeah, you have to go down this historical rabbit hole. Uh, the, the original Giada Sisters was a very flagrant uh, Super Mario Brothers ripoff uh, that came out of Europe, and since then it has kind of gotten its own thing. It's right, be, it has kind of. They've, they've built up their own mechanics and, and their own kind of, uh, you know, I don't want to say this in a negative way, but tropes. You know, the the, the, the little things about the game that you uh, immediately associate with Gianna Sisters. And uh, this uh, this game we're playing here on the personal computer is the results of uh, a, a revival and then a Kickstarter to take it to, to kind of the end. Uh, so the thing they've kind of made their own are, there are these two sisters and it changes, they each have their own movesets, uh, so I don't know the names of the sisters. One of the Giannas and then the other Gianna. Yeah, uh, one, one can float, uh, kind of spin around here. Um, the other has this rocket, kind of flame ball that can bash through objects. Uh, and also, the, you, you've got collectibles that can only be collected with one, uh, with one sister. Uh, the enemies actually change, the music changes. Like, there, there are some real profound, interesting things they do with sort of the duality of the characters. You can change them in real time, so you, you can't do uh, both moves at once. Oh, God, nerds. That was purple water. So this is at near the end of the first world. We played about an hour of the game, I think. Look out for these devils. You can see they... I really like the way it looks when it shifts between the worlds. Like the little, kind of the elasticity of it, the little rubberiness yeah. to it. Oh. Oh, okay, so that's what I gotta do. Okay, oh, you gotta so, switch so back. Some of the, some of the uh, doors will only open uh, for one character. Uh, and then also, it, that, that will also shift the direction of some objects. So, you'll have occasions where you've gotta use one sister to get a bridge to go out, uh, and then another sister to actually... Okay, so see, now it's completely open. Ah, but now you have to do that. So see, that shifts it. You see the music also changes as well. Yeah. You get kind of this hard rock, uh, something that seems like should come out of like a Japanese, like Dragon's Dogma, would ha like has some fucking butt rock at the beginning <laughs> of that game. So you want your butt rock, you switch to her. Let's see, so okay, both of these can move this. Okay, move that a little bit faster. Uh, there's a lot of hidden things. And a lot of the hidden stuff uh, really does require you to have a pretty good understanding of how the the girl's powers interact with each other. Let's see if I can try and get some of this stuff. Whoa. Well, it looks like there's that curved surface up there that you want to rock it into, so you want to... Like this? Oh, well, not like no, that. not like that. Not like that. I don't know, I've never ridden along a curved surface. But I think... Like if you just go straight up... So that moves that back there. I wonder if I can just... Okay. So getting straight forward isn't usually too complicated, but when you want to try and go after some of the secret stuff, it does require... So to find this stuff... Oh! Oh, look out for that. I haven't met that guy before. But I really do like, yeah, the elasticity of the environment. Like, the kind of like, wah, 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 like the yeah. changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little jiggle. A little jello. Okay, so this is an instance where it sounds like I have two options. Hmm. Hmm. 
balance? I think I'd rather just go on this. No, I think it's it's even saying from a, from up here is how you need to do this. Yeah, that's what that sign was. Oh, okay. Uh, and then you'll have instances where you, know, you kind of swap between them in order to grab all the collectibles. Uh, collectibles are mostly, as far as I can tell, just to collect things. Um, the, those th that big, large blue one we got. Yeah. Uh, that you know unlocks concept art. Uh, and some other stuff, but uh, for the most part, it's purely collectibles for collectibles. Maybe there's some other stuff that, that unlocks uh, as the game goes along, but... So you got some fun dynamics here, because you're... In order to collect all those, you gotta kind of shoot that back up as each of the characters. This is actually one of the least interesting environments that I've seen. There are see how far this goes, otherwise we'll jump back out to another one. But some of the big outside, very triney, I guess would be the way I would describe it, type environments are really nice looking. Oh, oh. alright, I can make that first jump about that. Oh. Oh shit! Hmm. I bet if you bounce off of that surface, right, the curved surface right above you, like if you pop straight up, if you pop straight up, you'll bounce off to the right. Okay. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe do it further from the left here. Right there. Oh, there's something there. Oh. Oh. Look, look at that much easier way to do this. <laughs> so, shoot up with, with her and then turn to the other sister. Okay. Yep. Puzzle solved. Oh. Good thing it's checkpoint. Yeah. Oh, so that actually completely changes the enemy type. So in this case, because she's one that floats around, kind of throws bones, you have to get around this one because you can kind of shoot around. Interesting. Is that an owl skeleton? Fantastic. I guess so. Some of these diagonals are kind of tough to pull off. They're not usually that crucial. I have to say I'm not that big of a fan of the butt rock. I love this. This is fantastic. It just goes on for a long time. <laughs> well, I like the interplay. Oh yeah, totally. Like yeah, I think I think that stuff's really neat. Like that's the neither of these on their own I think is is super special really but uh put them together once you go down and forward well or you could run into that guy let's try this Ooh. Do you actually, did you ever actually play the original Gianna Sisters? Like, I only know it through lore. I have never actually played it. I have. I have played the actual original Gianna Sisters. I think you wanted that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You got the right idea. Like, was it any good, or is it mostly just, like, this historical factoid? Uh, it was weird. It handled weirdly. Uh, like, and just different physics? Yeah, yeah. Like, it has its own physics model that's not quite... Right. Oh. <laughs> okay, so now, theoretically... Maybe that's all I need? Okay, 
go chasing those. Looks like this doesn't go anywhere though, so. Yeah, that was purely just to get get those rocks. All right, yeah, there you go. Maybe that's it. Yep. That's an arrow. I'm gonna follow that arrow. So this is definitely the most puzzly this game has gotten so far. Uh, otherwise, it's well. I think you want to go up. But like not in this room. I think I'm, do I want to stand on that? Hmm. Oh, oh, what did I, oh. oh. There was a balloon thing in the background. Spawn? Maybe I don't need it. Okay. Whee! All right, back in here then. Oh, maybe this this is that. That's okay. That was just a. Little side, little area. side thing to get the get a secret. Um, but you want to keep going up. I bet I need to get that. I can't get that box on there, can I? I don't think so. No, but you can get that other box on here. Oh, you're right. So. It does seem like there is some occasional, uh, like, gotcha design in yeah, here. Yeah, it can be sometimes a little, oh. Uh, I'm not sure. That was oh, not. Oh, okay. That was not gotcha design. That was I didn't, I didn't realize. That's sending that over. Yeah. Can I break those? Did those just, oh. No, it looked like those were in place for both sisters. Yeah, I can just duck. Kind of cheap now. Oh, you're going to have to hop over that. Oh. More ducking. Yes, yeah, little tight little moves that it's demanding of you here every once in a while. Yeah, and that's you know I'm playing with the Xbox 360 controller. You could play this with keyboard and mouse. I think you'd want to play it with the 360 controller, uh, but I have found it to be a little challenging to get some of those diagonals. What is it about the controls that makes those diagonals tough to pull off? I just can't seem to do them consistently. Hmm. Um, I feel like I'm hitting a in a diagonal direction, and uh, off, more often than not, I'm going right. We're up. So that did it get on? Oh, okay. So apparently to keep going, you need more crystals. Need more. So even though I've quote unquote finished all these stages, uh, well, I can't it's, get to it's that. showing you like what your what your oh, crystal yeah, totally. total looks like down there. So let's go back to one of these previous levels and uh, let's, try, let's try this one. Uh, these ones are. Do a much better job, I think, of servicing uh, how cool it is when you have these transitions. Like, really just, you know, it doesn't change the fundamental geometry too much, but just looks really nice. Like, has a bit of a try, uh, try and vibe. Certainly. 
Okay, so this is earlier on, so you're still learning like how some of the moves work. I don't think this has any co-op, which I mean it, that wouldn't make too much sense. But like if you if you look at uh, no, that wouldn't make any sense. If you if you look at those blocks that you just jumped off of back there, you can see where once upon a time that was very Super Mario Brothers one inspired. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, like that that's that's actually kind of a neat nod to that stuff, I think. Yeah. Okay, so blue water's okay. That yeah. purple Poison. stuff that fucks you up. Well, you know, you know what they say, the purple stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> Okay, yeah, well, Gianna, you know, Gianna, Gianna <laughs> sisters, they're young, you know. Impressionable. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to give them the purple stuff. They're high off that perp. That's why all this shit's happening. <laughs> this, this game is, this game starts with them just stoned out of their gourds on their bed, texting each other. Uh, there, there's an instance where, like, you actually can't even get down there without. Yeah. Or out. Yeah. Although, it looks like you don't have... Breath or anything like that to worry nope, about. No, nope. uh, you don't. You don't. At least in my experience so far, don't spend a whole lot of time underwater. It's mostly just like another spot for them to hide stuff. Sure. Uh, one problematic thing could be, uh, as I'm thinking about it now, and towards the progression, is that like I felt like when I went out th through these levels, like I did a decent job exploring and still came up kind of empty. Uh, and it's not like it seems to give you any sort of decent indicators on, hey, maybe you head in this direction, you know? Like, I, I, it seems like if they don't play their cards right on giving you that stuff, that you could maybe, oh. Okay, there's also no way to drop down. That really bugs me in a platformer. So I guess I'm gonna have to Just jam it. Balloons! I wonder... Thank you, balloons. Because that's probably enough to get me to the next stage. I wonder if that... I probably have to finish the stage with yeah. it. Yeah. I also like that the... Like... Butt rock section is the nice and colorful, wonderful world. And then the kind of like more chill one is where it's like this... Hell, hellscape. No, they're, they're playing up, and also just the fact that it's the, you know, punk rock girl is in this world beating up the cute-looking animals. I'm gonna see if I can blast through this. I like that little move. Yeah, this is fun. You know, not really doing anything, but it's still kind of cool. Maybe it doesn't take them out of the world. That that little breath she takes when you when you come out of the water freaks me out. <laughs> it's like, oh god, she's drowning. Someone save her. Some Patrick, what are you doing? Ah! Damn it! Let's do a little section again. I'm just gonna try and make her do it as many times as possible. Alarming. Children in peril. I don't like it. <laughs> well, it's that's cheap. A, that's a that's a pretty good response to have as a human being, though. So, <laughs> you, you so. pat you've passed the psychopath test. I was gonna say, not the, a turns out not a complete monster. Oh. Okay. See if this opens really? up the last stage and take a look at that real quick before we jump out of here. So is this a, this is on Steam as of now? Yeah, it's on Steam now. Uh, I think it's thirteen forty nine. It's normally fourteen ninety nine. So a little bit of a launch discount. Mm -hmm. uh, they have plans to bring it to Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network. Eventually. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, easy to see how it would fit on here, you know, playing it with a 360 controller right now. Uh, but for 15 bucks, like, this seems like a pretty great. Like, 
I guess, you know, it's interesting because I think if you know what Gianna Sisters is, it's not like it has a reputation of being like this reputation of quality. Like, it's more this is like this historical artifact that's the, known the, for a has, very specific it, reason. It does have kind of a, like, a small but very ardent fan base that, that would fight you for those words. Probably. And uh, there's a DS version that came out uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, yeah, we have a quick look of that up on the side. I didn't much care for that one. You can hear me also in that uh, recollecting poorly. Uh, so there are, there are Gianna like Gianna sisters, sisters fan fanboys. Uh, yeah, absolutely. There are people aficionados. That are, there are people who are genuine fans of okay. uh, Gianna sisters. I, can, I cannot disparage it because I know nothing about the game. Um, but like that aside, yeah. This you know, as someone that has no affiliation with the Gianna sisters, this is like a totally fun platformer with really gorgeous visuals. It gives me a bit of a trine vibe, at least from the uh, the aesthetic. Um, it's just fun. Like this, it's not not too complicated. Like you could certainly do worse. And at 15 bucks, oh, kind of hard to how, argue with. How hard it ends up getting, um, because they're definitely, or, or how much precision it demands from the player. Because I could see it getting. If they wanted to go down a deep rabbit hole, they totally could. Because it's it's. I'm just saying, like already on the first level, like you've run into some pickles here. You've had right couple of spots where it's uh, it's giving you some trubs. Uh. And especially when it comes to managing, you know, multiple platforms with those platforms determined by oh, uh, which character you're in, but then you also, if you want to collect all the things, oh. you kind of have to put yourself at, at odds with kind of your actual objective in order to accomplish all that stuff. You got these that flip based on the, the character you're with. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> A little more uh, danger there. Well, than you I thought. need. I need to. Uh, what do I need to do? Now I got this shit under control. Spin it down. Cause she maintain even when you switch. She. Uh, to the other sister, she maintains. So it's like it's the the Ikaruga of platformers, and then you die yeah. by that double. Perfect. Great. Well, All right. So Gianna Sisters: Twisted Dreams available uh, now on Steam. It is seems totally fun, uh, and ma makes me curious to go and check out, you know, the the origins of the Gianna Sisters, just to have a better understanding of again, kind of how weird this is that it was a Kickstarter project, all sorts of weirdness. Uh, yeah, and I also I do not believe any of this kind of stuff is in a previous game. I could be wrong, because uh, I also, like you, am not a expert on Gianna Sisters. I, I know just mostly the lore, and I've played some of the original. Uh, but this seems uh, way cooler than any previously Gianna Sisters branded things I've seen. So seems the case. Indeed, Patrick. Thanks for uh, giving us a look.